Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Regalia of Men and Monarchs. Okay, we had quite the reveal at the end of the last episode. Nevertheless, nevertheless, Gunther is still missing his dog. Let's let's follow those puppy tracks. And it takes like 10 days to get there. Which is fine. There you go. It did actually take us about 10 days, didn't it? Alright. Doggone it. Let's go. Might just be a text adventure. Oh no, that that's that's horrible. What do we have here? Good doggy, good doggy. <coughs> I'm gonna call you George and love you and pet you and hug you. Just in the nick of time. Look, Heinrich's here. Stand down, friend. Hey, I will let you insult my doggy. You take that back that instance. Just called him friend? Oh, no, because... Okay, I get you. <laughs> um, what? Is that a magic dog? George, come back, George. <sighs> what are you done? You scared George. Now I'm really mad. All right, here we go. We have to battle him. We have to find the magic dog? Excuse me? How does he have teleportation powers? Explain that to me. And Heinrich must survive, which... You wouldn't think would be a problem. When with two or less combatants, you know what? We could probably do it. Okay, Heinrich's in the middle. All right. You know, we could do it. I don't want to. Let's do this. We might even be able to shield up the dog. I don't know if it's necessarily possible. Why does it stop? Oh, because he's the fourth. Yeah, that's got to be it, huh? Maybe. Diego there. Heinrich should be small enough that he doesn't affect... Yeah, he's small. Okay, so he doesn't affect block line of sight. He has chomp. That's really good. Signy, I think, comes out. You know what? Let's try with two. Should we? I don't know. I think maybe, like, Griff out would be pretty good. Oh, now it's letting me do four. I'll see that. Now you're just being weird. All right, game, you're just being weird. Do this. Islands. On the prowl. All right, so you can like jump over here and then pounce from here to nope. Okay. Um, in that case, talk about this. You go back. You enrage yourself. And okay, now your movement should be better. Yeah, that's pretty good. And now you pounce, and sure enough, you can get right there. Okay, right, right, right. He has the enrage ability. I forgot about that. Okay. Nope, that's fine. Okay, we have the dog. The dog has to live. I'm going to push the dog back. He has a huge movement allowance. Look at this. That's amazing. I'm basically going to get him out of the way. Okay. You're good there. Thank you. Diego, if you wouldn't mind, um, can't be in the way. How about you stand over here and you poison this dude? A shot to the heart, and you're to blame. The heat is on! Right, you come over here. I think that's not close enough, right? Oh, no, we can totally do it. All right. Let it blow! He's gonna hit Signy hard. For great justice! Um, and Signy's in the way. Damn. Alright, well, at least we can make it so Signy doesn't get pushed too far back. He's gonna hit her. Gonna happen. Yeah, and she's stunned. Okay. Okay, he's no longer poisoned. She's stunned, so that's it for you. Dog just keeps running away, which is fine. He's not teleporting, which is kind of weird. Um, you can move over here and still shoot this guy. Let's go ahead and do that. Look alive! Thank you. In fact, no, no, no. The heat is on. Okay, so then you come up like here and give me an inferno blast. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty good. Pretty sweet, down to 3,600. At your side. 
can't quite make it, but if you run... Yeah, here we go. Dynamic entry. Nice, nice, nice. Unfortunately, that's it. But here you go, round pounds. Swipes, sure. Oh, wow. Okay, that kind of works, I guess. Yes, yes. All right, go ahead and do your... Um, let's actually do Enrage. I think you're not Enraged right now. No, you just have Bloodlust. This isn't actually going to help us right here. So yeah, Enrage. <laughs> that empowers you, and then you can go ahead and Whirlwind. <laughs> Which I'm glad Griff wasn't there for that, right? All right, the dog's there. We'll just let him be there. You go ahead and shoot the troll. Here's a little something. Actually, a lot of damage Flame there. On. You can... Hmm, actually, is it a good idea? Yeah, let's do this. Destruction in the way. Are you shitting me right now? He likes fire. Fire's good for the Fire Lord. That's why he's called the Fire Lord and not the freaking Ice Lord. Okay, so... Come over here, I guess. Fire Lord next to him, maybe? And then burn this boy. And he's centered for side. it, which is good. I can't get up to him. I would love to, but I can't. So I can come up like this far, but that's about it. Oh, one more. There you go. Is he gonna hit Signy? I punch you! Yep, he wants for Signy. Alright, that's too bad. We move now, yes? We can get her back over there. In fact, we can get her all the way over here because she does have her fleet. Okay, so then whirlwind. Ah! 453. You know, if we do that again. Ah! I don't know what to Um, that's okay. Wasn't as good, but it's fine. The dog stays over there. Can you actually shoot past the Fire Lord? Nope. Yeah, I would move over here. But now. Yes, that's what it looks like. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get dangerous. You could set this guy up. Yeah, I'd do that. Um, right there's better though. That'll keep the Fire Lord where he is. Come over this way. And Crescent swipe this dude. Nice, now he's below a thousand. Excellent. Mm, I sure could eat a mini pizza right now. Big ol' whiff. Go ahead and wreck him. There we go. He is totally wrecked. That wasn't so bad at all. Vertuminous. For K. Interesting. I'm not sure it's that good because we don't do that much damage with K, but all right. Got a new Firestorm Focus, too. Okay, so we found the dog. Huzzah, I suppose. Hi, Heinrich. Hey. Come here, boy. We won't hurt you. Give us quite a fright. Gunther is worried sick. Eh. Come on, don't be like that. He may have his oddities, but his heart is right in the right place. Admits it. Okay, good. Okay, most of the time. Yes, he knows now. He realizes his mistakes and promised to change. He won't pester you against your wishes anymore. I'm glad to hear that. Gunther will be overjoyed. Well, then let's depart. Griffith? What? Did you just... Did you two... Huh? What? Never mind. Yeah, isn't that usually something reserved for royalty, right? Only royalty can talk to animals, something like that? There's a... The thing about that. Okay, so... I guess to complete the quest Greatest Secret, we have to go back home. I don't think there's any other quests out here, right? Oh, there's this one here. Meltdown site. We already did this, though, didn't we? I could have sworn we already did that. Look at the quests. Friend for a friend. Return to winter. Doggone it. Yeah, so why is the other one there? 
That is weird. I don't get it. We're, we're going to go back home now. Because we already did that for Miri. I'm kind of puzzled. I don't know. It might just launch us into the story quest thing, but we'll see. Nope. Okay, so we're not going to do that yet. Well, let's return the dog to Gunther. Oh! Happy, happy joy! Oh. You're alive and well. The magnificence! I swear I would never ever let you go again. I will hug you and pet you and dress you and... Huh? Um... Within reason, naturally, yes. Sorry for everything, Heinrich. This is all my fault. I should have been less self-indulgent. Will you forgive me, old friend? <laughs> Aw, hearts. I cannot thank you enough. My soul is flying high, soaring like the eagle. It'll be a good day to work, to craft and create a greatness at our fingertips. Hua! Don't mention it. And actually, never talk about it again. That'd be great. Okay, that was not so bad. Personal bond up. Huzzah, huzzah. We have... I hope we had another one. With Winter. We can turn it in, right? It's just weird that she doesn't have a heart on her thing, but maybe it's okay. Hello? Well... Oh, so we're in the middle of something, so we can't do it yet. But we have your freaking stone. Totally have your stone. Possible after this that we will just not have the kingdom anymore, but sure. What the hell? Let's go. Let's do it. Give up the kingdom. We are commoners after all. Rightful king is here. No one's taking the news well at all. That was it? Really? That was it? We're just gonna all cry and then we're over it? What? We probably have to wait the requisite 30 days or something, but what? What? Is that seriously it? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. It's weird. So we've done the 7 plus quests and everything. I, I still want to do some extra stuff here with Griffith. I want to get Signy her animal. I want to do some stuff. So let's let's do this. We'll battle with Griffith for a little while. That'll get us up a little bit. Right, because we were at 99, right? Now we're at 100. That was a little silly, but that's okay. We can be a little silly. Of course, shoot him in the face, as you usually do. Okay. And then we could probably talk to either Griff or Signy again. Oh, there we go. Now we can go to her. What the hell was up with that? A little weird. Hey! Retrieve the stone for you. Oh, nice! Watch it be the wrong one. Kind of funny. Will this suffice? Oh, but absolutely. Never mentioned what kind of stone you wanted, you know. Yeah? So I uh, had some problems picking the correct stone. Rock solid! Okay, really, you know what kind of stone this is, right? No? Oh. It's a gold rim gem. It's popular in mist because it re reacts naturally to the ebbs and flows in elements. Myself, I like to call it a supercharged shiny amber. Pretty little thing, yeah? Indeed. That reminds me, before you go, could you wait a bit? Huh? Need a minute. Don't go just yet. All right. A minute. Many hours later. I <laughs> even took a nap. Solid. Done. I had to sweat and improvise a little because of that whole racial complete lack of creativity thing. I think it might have actually worked out. Huh? You see, I've been thinking about how much I value our friendship and how you don't have any bordery friends you're going to return home to. How maybe you feel lonely because of it and... Well, let's just say that cool stone was never meant for me. Here you go! A I... gift from the heart. A rock buddy just for you! Notice the rock was cleaned up, refined, and painstakingly in trying this delicate silver framework. But surprisingly well chosen decorative touches. Additionally, there's a crude smiling face drawn on the rock itself. That's adorable. Aw, oh, Winter, that's sweet. That's what friend are for. <laughs> I might not bring the stone myself. Yeah, but that was the trick part. Appreciate the thought. Yeah, that was 
Golden memento. Dude, we gotta wear it. Even if it's shit, we gotta wear it. Right? We have to wear it. Even if it has terrible stats. Where is it? So... We'll do it instead of the antiquated thingabob. So we want the... Um, hold on. How do I scroll? There we go. Oh, at the bottom, yeah, there we go. Golden memento. Plus five ice penetration. That is actually shit. But you know what? She made it for us. We're gonna wear it. There you go. Okay, Signy here. I don't see her. Oh, there she is. She's a placeholder in, but she can't be... Yeah, can't do anything with her right now. That's too bad. Um, Yeah, she's day off at the end right now. Okay, so on this day, Pathfinder City? Oh, we get another quest. Nope, not Diego. Oh, glorious. Not Diego, Miri. I want to know how you're hitting on Miri, okay? It's just not, first of all, any of my business. Second of all, I don't want to know. Salutations. Next book will be a thing to behold. And the time, sure. Here's an idea. She'll have another quest, no doubt. No doubt. Anything else? Oh, hey, yes, I have another quest in a slightly different color palette, too. Okay. Minway, the land of the gnomes. Ring the bells? Axum counts, then yes. Uh, no. Hardly. If all gnomish lords were like him, the princedoms would quickly implode. Then again, they tend to be rather unique bundles of wackiness, but I digress. I don't know if it's just dumb cultural posturing, but it feels like pretty much nobody realizes there's so much more in Minway than just sand and turtles. There's so much history buried beneath. Not a year passes without some kind of perplexing archaeological discovery. And that's still barely scratching the surface. The gnomes may not care, but I do. I've been informed that the recent sandstorm has unearthed a hence unseen structure in the ossuaries, a region in the arid stretch. I would hazard a guess from the initial descriptions, it's a 50-50 between either a temple or a tomb. Rather bold guess, isn't it? Especially since you haven't, you know, seen it. True, but the ossuaries were never renowned really for variety. The area is basically a huge pile of ancient rich people tombs stacked upon mausoleums, necro necropolises, and catacombs. Premium metropolitan zone for the dead. Though we don't know what exactly we're dealing with or what's inside, if anything at all. Plus, given the current trend of political inde indecisiveness, it'd be a waste to leave it open to opportunists and grave robbers. And it'll take time before I'll be able to organize a proper expedition. If you're not too busy, would you be willing to check it out for me? Sounds like a fun adventure. Sure. Adventure ho! Kind of jealous, actually. Who knows what lies inside? Aside from zombies. Probably mummies. Things that try to eat your face right off. But aside from that, who knows? Okay, so that should have been the day for her, so... Oh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was just a quest. Okay, who else are we good with here? Who do we need to get a personal bond with? I and mean, we don't need anything, right? We just spend the next 30 days doing nothing. But one, I want to find out what Signy's spirit animal is. Oh, we are actually level... Okay. Well, that's good, actually. We'll, we'll totally get to admire status. I'm fine with that. I suppose we get Levant up to the next level. We get Boz and Milka up to the next level. We have, let's see, one, two... Oh, we have three. We have four already. That's great. So I guess let's get Boz and Milka up to the next level, maybe. Um, nope, we can get Alice up. Sure, let's talk to Alice. Probably be a quest to free her from whatever it was. So wasn't there somebody who was coming by to possibly enslave her again? Talk to her about that. Mm. Let off some steam, go for it. What friends are for? Oh, are we actually only going to emote each other? I thought we had... I could have sworn that we had... We were ready to level up. Wrong? I was wrong. We're ready now? Yeah, now we're ready to go. Need to do the bond quest for this character. But do we even know what that is? Is that actually... Cold storage, maybe? No, cold storage is Miri's. Okay, can we talk to Alice again? She's down at the town square, so no. Okay, what about Signy? Okay, here we go. I'm a little confused. Talk to her. Your words? Okay, let's spend the time. Maybe get your quest done. It's not actually your quest, but we'll get there. Okay. There you are. So glad I found you guys. Hey. 
Something happened, Ellie? You asked me to look for some stuff for Signy, remember? Well, I went through some books on the subject of the Kelra. Also totems, animal cults, folk beliefs, ritual dances, travel recommendations, astral projections, spiritual euphorias, phobias, out-of-body experiences, past life syndromes, feral regressions, cake recipes. <laughs> I think I found something. There's a fantastic muffin recipe. So the Kelra did not keep themselves completely to the Dead West. There were a couple of splits and disagreements that appears some of the less orthodox branches may have moved to Rushdale. They've all died out by now, but they've also left some behind. Or rather, an account of something. Or memory. Or something. It's very cryptic. Explain, please. There's a place somewhere, deep in the Festerlands, they used to call the Cave of Trials. That particular branch believed that each and every one of them had to confront their destiny inside, and each experience made them come back changed. Confront their destiny, huh? Sure, much of it's usual vague, spooky, scary stuff, but apparently, they've never abandoned their links to with their Totomic Beasts. They claim that every Kelra is being called by something old and primal from within the cave. Interesting. Thanks, Ellie. Bye bye No biggie, big bro. I could help. And off she runs again. She needs to run everywhere. There you go, Signy. You got it. That might be it. The Cave of Trials. What do you think? Sounds promising. <sighs> I'm confused. Will I have me find my beast? I believe so, yes. At the very least, it's worth a shot. The course is set and the path is chosen. Will the duckling accompany me? Sure. That's what friends are for. I totally want to find out what her beast is. Who knows, maybe it makes her fantastic in battle. I mean, she's already pretty good. I wasn't wild about her at the beginning, but she's definitely grown on me. So let's let's go off in the world, man. Let's go. Do this. Venture forth. We move now. Yes. Do I have to? It's funny that I now just know what they are and just grab them. Hey, you guys, we're going. Here it is. Entrance to the Cave of Trials. Let's go. Venture forth. And the cave is just ahead. You ready? I am. The ancestors are with us. I mean, it's mostly just her, right? I mean, to go with friends seems like that would defeat the purpose. So then she should just come out with a spirit animal, unless we play as her. I guess it's possible. Um, what? Did she... what? I mean, we go to the other side? If she goes in the cave one way and out the other side, that's got to be it. And I guess it's to make a day pass. Okay, that's actually not a bad mechanic. That's actually kind of neat. Oh, we're going to we're, we're role playing as Signy, it looks like. The billows of nauseating miasma rise from the stale bog waters as you step forth into the cavern. Cameron's walls glisten with a repugnant substance, it's rife with what looks like mismatched clusters of ooze, tangled ghoulweed, and crude precipitates of solidified mana. And within these growths, a sickly organic glow shines through, lighting the way deeper into the tunnel. Whatever fate waits in that damp, disgusting gloaming, you, Signy the Kelra, will have to face it alone. All right, onward and upward. Downward, one of those. The deeper you get, the more the tunnel morphs into a claustrophobic landscape of razor-sharp rocks, shattered geometry, and grinding passages. The neutral, murky tinge of the cavernous surroundings betrays little, but your keen senses cannot be fooled. There's a clear impression of human presence in the air, like old scabbed blood, or rather, a fading memory of many presences similar to yourself, scattered throughout many moons. The story presented to you by the duckling's skin seems to steadily confirm itself. You certainly aren't the first hunter to navigate these caverns. The mesmerizing patterns of stone culminate into a surprisingly vertical chamber within the cavern. Like a talon of a colossal beast, a seemingly unconquerable pillar of irregular boulders, rises from the bedrock, towering above everything in sight. As you follow with your gaze, you notice oddities, man-made indents, notches, scratches, sometimes even tribal festoons affix to the surface. The curious stone spire leads deep into the darkness above, in a gloom and uncertainty way beyond the limits of your sight. It seems like the only way to proceed is up. Investigate the chamber first. Faint scent of wool lingers in the area. All around the pillar, someone, or something, went to the effort of raising small mounds of bones, gravel, and dirt, creating effigies of spirits that you do not recognize. Skulls and mundane beasts adorn the very top of each and every mound, be it birds, reptiles, or mammals, all seem well represented in these creations. For some reason, they all appear to be looking straight at the entrance, straight at you. Might as well say hello. Answered only by silence. Alright, you know, it's never bad to be polite. 
fact, that's not an acknowledgement, too. Enter only by silence. Okay, just to be safe. Just to be safe. Inspect the pillar before you climb it, because you never know. Though this place has clearly felt the touch of hands and feet of your kin, the pillar in the middle appears to be a natural creation. Its shape and size reminds you of the great arches of your homeland, with all of its malleable rock and overpowering vistas. Smears and scrimbles decorate its powerful base, long since weathered by the combined predations of touch and time. Yet even now, in this abysmal hour, you can clearly see the meaning and re reverence laying behind them. They mark a place of trials. Okay. Up we go. The climb into darkness begins. One step after another, you push your bodily frame upward onward towards whatever awaits at the top. You struggle and slip and scrape, but your determination never falters. The ancestors are watching. A hunter does not back down from their prey. You don't stop. You won't stop. You cannot stop. Ascending the spire, you find yourself in a chamber very unlike the one you left behind. Glowworms skitter around the scant cramped surface like a tiny organic firmament, fleeing as soon as you step into the overgrown cavern floor. Stocks of lichen, flowstone, and acrid, shrubbery mar your passage, irritating the skin. The hair is heavy with fragrances. It smells of musk and herbs and gore. A bright red scar, similar to a painted serpent or a lightning bolt, runs wide along the ceiling. Something about this place feels you weird, inhuman, but also, also oddly enough, nostalgic. A stick, a simple charred stick, catches your eye, its unassuming shape attached to what looks like a damaged clay goblet or brazier. The most striking feature, however, is that the skull impaled on the stick. You'd think that would actually have caught your attention first, but no. After a moment of confusion, you realize it's not meant to be one particular skull, or any skull really. What you see before you is a composition of many individual parts. Jaws of a viper, tusks of a boar, horns of an ornix. A faceless mosaic of creatures frozen in time. House of spirits. Of course, we're going to approach. You know another option. The skull leers at you in silent judgment, its razor-sharp teeth forming a disturbing sneer. Hmm. Elra, come to find my totem. Maybe? Enter the silence, which is kind of makes sense. Hand on the goblin seems weird. Let's put your hand on the skull. Nothing happens. Out before the effigy. I don't know if there's supposed to be a puzzle here. Hand on the teeth. They appear to be just as sharp as they look. The instant your finger slides over one of the fangs, like a red, red streak of blood appears, dripping laser from the cut. Oh. But now that we're bleeding, put the hand on the goblet so the blood goes in there. Blood drips down the gauntlet. Just put goblet down as your hand inside. Something begins to stir within, like imprint of a hungry, hungry ancient fury, sending vibrations throughout your body. You're a hiss, and a thick, thick pungent vapor fills the air, engulfing your senses. The light of the glowworms dims and shudders, blending before your eyes into a twinkling mass of organic hysteria. Shadows grow longer, stranger. You're totally drugged. Suddenly you realize you are not alone anywhere. A faded, dark shape rises from the overgrowth. It does not move, but you are certain it is watching you. Bow. Shape wobbles and twitches, almost completely disappearing for a split second. A thought, voiceless whisper of a message materialized within your mind, resounding from within. Signy of the Kelrod, daughter of Arboron. Ready to be tested, old ones. Let's get do this. Our lives are a test, Signy of the Kelra. A life is a trial by itself, a journey. And yours marked you distinctly. You came seeking your totem, but the answer should be evident by now. Something blinks within the shape. Can you not feel it? The voice confuses. Elaborate. You are the unyielding, the unbroken, the undaunted. The shape seems to be fluctuating wildly, changing into various monstrous silhouettes with a single each word. You seek a totem, an aspect that will serve confirmation for your existence. It has been found in spite of your attempts, not because of them. More confusion. The incomplete right that you have been undertaking so long, what does it prove if not tenacity? You are a stubborn creature, Signy of the Kelra. You do not relent, you do not submit, and you do not feel fear. As they speak, something begins to grow within you, a sound, a thump of a thousand drums, each a primal growl, chasing your heartbeat. You try to say something, but you cannot. Your limbs begin to feel heavy. Before it dissipates, the shape offers one final whisper. The beast cometh. You drop to your knees, overpowered by this unfamiliar beat of your senses. Something stirs in the shadows beyond your sight, grunting, growling, no doubt approaching you. Struggle you get your head up to prepare. You raise your head, but there is no monster, no colossal predator in sight. Instead, you find yourself face to face with a rat tail, staring at you quizzically, your totem, your beast. 
The animal nods sagely at you as if in acceptance. Signet to the Kelra, it utters its word clear in human, undaunted. It pauses its eyes, betraying signs of curiosity. It appears to be waiting your response. We never falter on our path seems appropriate. You blink the instant you open your eyes, the spirit is gone. The chamber is still once more. At last, the right has been completed. Isn't a rat tail the smallest, humblest of creatures? To accept that anyway has got to be... Got to be tough. But there's also some of the tenacity of the rat spirit, right? So not exactly away from that either. Right, this is what Mira wants us to go to. This, I think, is Mira's old quest. Very, very puzzled about that. Let's go back. Let's see if we can talk to Signy again. I don't know if there's anything we can do, but maybe not. We'll see. So I don't see her. Okay, she's in the placeholder in. We can't talk to her today. Let's talk to Alice. She's probably gonna have a quest for us anyway. Mm. And spend time. Okay, so now she should have a quest. We verified that before. Yeah, here we go. Mm. Can't be right. Huh? What's up? The fourth letter received this week, the fourth one that is somehow specifically addressed to me. And also specifically asking for a meeting. Meeting. Yep, of course, they're all different letters at heart. Different authors, signatures, phrasing, yada, yada, yada. But all seem desperate to discuss the kingling situation, mutual safety, and a couple other catchy buzzwords. It might be a trap. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely sure it's a trap. If it isn't, I'm going to kiss Levant's shiny posterior plating. This says Cirrus is luring me, all written all over. I despise him so much. It just means you actually want to go and meet him. It's kindling time. Darn right I do. I'm tired of being accused for all the dumb stuff in the world. Besides, hey, Cirrus, the guy who thinks steaks are excellent for your blood pressure? You had a long coming. Whatever or whoever sent that, I'm not going to let you go alone. I'm coming with you, Alice. Yeah, see, I was actually hoping you'd say that. Hey, thanks. Where is it? Rolf Homestead in Bon Marquer. Or in the letters, it's supposed to be a safe haven for killings, but I'm sure it's just him trying to avoid a diplomatic incident. It's like because killing people in foreign territory equals no tenure. Ah, politics. Let's go then. Right you are. Lead the way. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Let's do it. Gather up our team here. Um, I do want to talk to Signy, but it looks like we can't. And we could probably talk to her, but... We're a max level right now, so I don't think that we can do anything. <sighs> See, she wants a wrestling pit too. Her and Gunther both want the wrestling pit. Okay, let's go here. We could also talk to Theo. Um, actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. What's our personal bond with Theo right now? We just emoted each other. It would waste a well, it wouldn't waste a day. It'd be spending the day. Let's not do it. Let's go and do Alice's thing. So you guys, everybody. We move no, I I have to. Yes, you have to, Diego. Come on. Get with it. We all gotta do it. So where is this at? Right here. That's actually not far away at all. In we go. Venture forth. We're just kind of burning away the days here, but these quests, I think, are actually kind of neat. This is the place. Also, nobody's here. <laughs> totally not on this. Give it three seconds, tops. One, two, three. Oh, wait, hey, there you go. Hey, guys. See? It's a trap. Yay. Hello, Arcanist Cirrus. I see you're still an utterly unsubtle, loathsome excuse of a man. Such a mouthy little kindling Alice, was it? You may think yourself important enough to play with, but you are wrong. I do not intend to taunt you, nor shall I reciprocate your jejun insults. Yet you invited me here, all cloak and dagger. Amazing. And you accepted, knowing full well what awaits you. Have you finally seen the greater good? Perhaps you intend to turn yourself in? Hey, hey, screw you. Turn myself in? What, to commit suicide? Do you think I'm crazy? I'm afraid the wisest choices are rarely the easiest. You must be Lord K. Loren. Actually, not a lord. There's a whole thing about that. My sincere condolences. I can but guess that you have already witnessed the dangers of sheltering what basically equals a sentient magical anomaly. You intend to support the kindling in this fruitless opposition? You know this will not end well, but you can still do right by the world at large. 
I'm a person. Stop talking as if my life doesn't matter. Who are you to judge me, casting verdicts from your ivory towers? Who are you to place your own good before the good of many? <sighs> Time to choose, Master Lauren. Do not wish you will, but you may leave no choice. <sighs> Draw your weapon. I'm not abandoning her. Yeah, exactly. Why even give the player a choice? I'm not going to betray Alice. She's an awesome asset to the team. A. My weapon. My weapon is the very essence of magic. Prepare yourselves, aberrants. All right, here we go. Here we go. Levant's probably... I'm actually kind of sad Levant's not here to join in because it would make make for a great story, right? Levant doesn't appreciate her. When the battle without her moving closer than the maximum movement range. When the battle without using Sindra's skills. I don't know if that's going to happen, but sure. But Levant's been, like, totally dismissive of her. If he were to step up in her defense, it would be freaking awesome. Sadly, though, did not plan it out that way. Signy should absolutely be part of this. Diego, I think, would be a good addition here. And why does it do this every time? Just let me put down my fourth person. Come on, guys. Diego. Signy. Signy at the edges. I don't know if it matters. Maybe we try to take out the big guy first. And last guy. So we have to have Alice on the screen. No question. You put K down for the shields. No, the thing is, these guys wipe away the shields immediately, don't they? Yeah, they do. So maybe Griff instead? I would think maybe Theo would be helpful, but... We'll do Griff. We need to do it one more time because reasons and that's yes, fine too. Yes, yes! Okay, so, try to take out this guy first. So enrage. <laughs> now the first strike against this guy is not going to do anything. We know that, and that's okay. Pounce in position. Okay. Shield broken. That's what we like to see. Diego comes in right over here and shoots him in the face with, yeah, poison. Why not? Incoming! There you go. And as far as you can go. The heat is on! You come up this way and maybe lay down. Blazing Barrier. Aw, oh, damn it. Diego's in the wrong place. Oh, they totally put it over there. How about... Nope. Then Signy's in the wrong place. We'll blow up this guy. That would drop his shield. Yeah, okay. Drop his shield. <laughs> Explosion! Probably a waste of a drop shield. Probably could have just done it with a fireball, but whatever. The time is now. Then you move over here and run and gun this guy. There you go. He's probably going to just change places or something. Nope, he wanted to get rid of the shields. Okay, it's fine. Oh, that's right. These guys, these guys are the jerks that go twice. I totally forgot about that. Okay, teleport over there. Hit her with a bolt. That's okay. I'm gonna trade I will places. Destroy you. Oh, that's so good though, because now Signy can totally wipe the floor with you guys and not have to worry about running fire. I will destroy you. Okay, moving Griff all the way over there. He doesn't mind. What are you gonna do? Okay, that sucks, and Griff's definitely hurt. Okay. On the prowl. So now you can go pretty much crazy here. Let's do a whirlwind. Drop his shield. Pretty good. And this guy's almost dead. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run away and then pounce. It'll take care of this guy at the very least. I can pounce over on that side. Yeah, let's blitz. Ancestors, hear me roar! There we go. Big guy's out. That's the important thing. What do you need? You go ahead and take out this guy's shields. Or should we just shoot these guys? Let's just shoot this guy. Not bad. Maybe blitz and do that again. I'm not the best shot. Except when I am. Incoming! That's pretty good. So he's gonna die. The heat is on! Especially when we put down, say. 
Yeah, we can start burning him up. We can turn this. That would probably kill him. Oh, so close. But I think when he starts, he's just going to drop. I think that's what's going to happen. Let us strike. You're in a bad way here, Griff. I'm, I can't deny that at all. Obviously, you hit this guy with the wood. That'll take away the shield, which is good. Unfortunately, that's all you can do. You mm, might die. A curious thing. Yeah, he dropped, I think. Big ol' whiff, thank goodness. You play with your toys. I play with the cosmos. Okay. Good whiff, I like it. Oh, Griff, you were doing some good work there. Thank you. We move now, yes. All right. I think we can wreck this guy. Whirlwind from you. Still at 59, huh? It's a lot of health. I think we just work with it. Here, zap him here. Here's a little something. There we go. Taking 46. Pretty good. Let's get dangerous. Oh, we don't actually have explosions. That's okay. Come up here. Let's fireball off his head. Pretty good. Sadly, that's all we can do. The time is now. Do a crescent strike here. Take out these guys. For great justice. Uh, yeah, Griff's gonna drop. If we're not careful. Only so many times a a bolt can actually <laughs> be dodged. Creating place is kind of weird there. I don't understand why he did that. Oh, when he dropped. Yep, yep, yep. yep you yep. play Sorry, with Griff. your toys. I play with the cosmos. If trade plays with you. That doesn't actually matter too much. We move now, yes? I mean, everyone has no shields, so whatever. We could do... Just get me into... Yeah, there we go. We can totally do massacre. No one has shields. Everyone gets hurt. Let's go. Not too shabby, really. This guy's going to drop. Everyone else is below 600. That's pretty good. So, 233. That's within range, right? Oh, yeah. You're dead. Thank you. Let's get dangerous. Um, you can go and blow this guy up, and that should kill him. Well, it might kill him. Might not. We'll see. Oh, there we go. That is totally wow. death and destruction. You look just smoldering. Okay, last mage. <laughs> it hurt, no question. It hurt, but he's gonna hurt more. Griff was our sacrificial the pawn there, by accident or by design, whatever. <laughs> oh, it missed. Oh, that's so bad. Sneaky morsel. Um. 538. I am gonna... No, I'm not gonna do it. How about this? You come over here, then Alice can move over next to him somehow. Definitely... Damn this. That might kill him. There you go. That did it. It's not you. It's me. Okay. Griff does not like that he got taken out by a simple mage, but not too shabby. Hey, Alice, you okay? Are you alright? Seems to shirk you more than you should. Be fine. I've had worse. Cyrus is dead. I'm free. Funny feeling. Know that he won't be out there anymore lurking, waiting for me to trip and fall. Okay, thanks. You know for being here with me. Nothing, really. Let's go home. Tend to Griff's wounds. And there we go. All right. Not too shabby. That takes down to 18 days, right? So, next episode might be the last one. I don't know. It's possible. I mean, we should go down here to the Unearthed Ruin, too. We could go and explore any of these others, but we don't really need to, because we've done all the Kingdom Quests we need. Not to mention, I don't know how many days it's going to take. I'd rather do the story stuff, to be honest. Okay, well, that'll do for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Regalia of Men and Monarchs. I'm PC Universe. Your PC Universe too, and I'll see you guys next time.